Record is on. I've only been doing this for four years. 20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand Rob with the wonderful Aaron. And he's from Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, uh, mahalo. I almost said aloha. No, aloha. it is aloha. Yeah, it's aloha. And mahalo. What is mahalo? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, my friend just got here yesterday on his world trip. You've got a big adventure going on this time. You're all over the place. And you do this like once or twice a year. Yeah, twice. Or you try to. I try and do twice a year. Twice like, a year, get out. Many friends that come over here and see me, you guys, you work, save all your money, take your little world trip, and relax. Right. Cheers. 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 So, hold on. Hold on. Eventually. But also you come over here because you have a really, really extensive little trip plan schedule. Like Chiang Mai and Bangkok and... It, it, yeah, I'm, I'm all over the place. I, I just got back from Cambodia doing some uh, temple exploring. And then He's a I, temple guy. I'm a temple guy. I went out and did some remote temples on hills and then uh, I did a, the first week I got here I went to Kokud down over by Kochong and went and hung out there and just decompressed on a beach for a while. That's so cool. And then I'm over to here. Yeah, I mean... Long tail. Long tail. <laughs> He's not even going anywhere. He's just revving the engine for the fun of it. But um, we were talking about the inexpensive flights over here. It's, it's just easy. You can just bounce, right. bounce, 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 bounce at 50 bucks a one-way ticket. Yeah, I'm going straight from here same to day. Chiang Mai. Yeah. You can buy it same day over here, one-way ticket for like Phuket to Chiang Mai. It's not going to be more than 80 bucks if you book it same day. So not much more than the cost of the taxi ride from here to the airport. That's what gets up your last video. We're not talking about the taxi. <laughs> your last video. We're not it. talking about the taxi. Um, Organ organization. organization. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys know what we're talking about. So. All the news about the Thai bot being too strong, that didn't affect your decision this year to come here or not? No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tourist. I'm here for three weeks, a month. Um, you know, the impact on the bot is it gonna kill me for a few weeks. Uh, hit your exchange out here on the main road and it well, was brutal. Yeah, it's, it's, it's rough, but you know, when you're only out three weeks and it just it just doesn't make enough of an impact. Okay, it's costing me one beer over the trip. You know, at the exchange rate, it's not going to kill me. Yeah, so it didn't sway your mind because a lot of people have been still talking about not coming because of the strength of the Thai bot. But I mean, if you got a plan, you got a plan. For example, you and I were talking earlier about would you not not you, but like would people rather go to Thailand or Hawaii because it's beautiful in both spots, and you just hit the main point price right exactly I mean, hawaii is hawaii is hawaii it's not cheap this isn't the most beautiful beach we've got over here but we've got a beautiful beach we were talking last night we were talking about his actual view of the tourist here because i think that it's a little bit busier than it was last year but that's only in a certain section a certain section of the beach over here is allocated to beach chairs as a local person. The rest of the beach, we can't have beach chairs here. So one part of the beach is very busy and there's a lot of restaurants over there and they will stay busy. But you tell them what you saw when you came here as far as beach, main road, beach road. What, what did you see? Well, I, I got dropped off by my taxi right out on the beach road. And driving in midday, it looked dead. There was nothing going on. Couldn't see anybody, very few tourists, just people standing around got out to the beach here and looked around, nice, peaceful, nobody, but looked down to where the chairs are, packed. Took a little nap and a shower, dinner time, rolling out to come meet you. Beach road, packed. There's people walking up and down, looking for dinner, and I was, I was, yeah. I was actually pretty surprised. I just keep reading horror stories that it's completely dead here, but it didn't look too bad to me. And l let me tell you folks, Patong is a freaking traffic nightmare right now. I haven't been down there. I would have took a picture, but I have evidence from people that are here that you can't even get through traffic within 30 minutes in some of those uh, second road and first road, not first road, but second road because of how much car to car traffic. So the areas that have, the, the people that have told me that they're taking a hit this year are some restaurants that are not on the beach. Uh, bars that are not on the beach and rest uh, I said restaurants but like massage 
if they get a, a little bit far off the beach because a lot of these hotels will do inclusive packages now they have deals with certain restaurants to be like okay if you stay with us right. you can eat here and we have a deal with them and so that takes away from uh, the mom and pop shops all around here not so much massage well no they work with some of the spas right. here so I can see what a lot of people say when they say tourism is down here but at the same time over here in the beach lounges it's not down and at night when the sunset hits and everyone's eating food at these restaurants on the the main the main on the beach it's it doesn't look it doesn't look like it's, it's dropped any at all so that's the reason I asked you about were your plans thwarted because of the Thai pot and to be honest you know I was here the exact same time last year in Kamala same place same and I, actually looks a little busier than it did last year surprising so it looks a little busier that's what I thought that's that's what I think yeah and it feels like it a little bit um, when I walked from here to the beer garden last night um, I did notice there was a handful of places closed along the way I don't know if they just haven't opened yet or not and then I went from Big C down to the beer garden and everything looked pretty normal there people eating and oh by the way folks just like every year if you were here in Kamala last year and you think you saw Kamala, all you had to do is wait one year and it completely changes. But down, okay, the last time we had a video, we were in this little bar area down there. I don't know what you want to call it. Some people call it the Soy Bangla area. <laughs> the war zone. <laughs> now, now we call it the war zone. The reason we call it the war zone is because every day someone is opening and then someone's closing. It's, it's, it's just like you don't know what's going on. but. There are so many bars and burger places and all this kind of stuff. So if you think you saw Kamala last year, you might have seen the water. That's that's still here, but all the buildings change and the management changes and everything. Well, you've seen you've seen like you said, places look closed and open. Right. You don't even know. You're just kind of like, uh, the White Sun Bar is still open. We're going to do that. To, we're going to hang out at the White yeah, Sun Bar and see Nisha tonight. If you guys have not been down here to see Nisha, she's only going to be here for like a week or so more. So please. Come by and say hello to Nisha before she gets back on the plane and goes back over to Sweden. So yeah, I think she's going to be here like just another week or so, but, and then you can do that. Last last night you were at the beer garden. We were at the beer garden, and I guess the bar was about half half seventy five full. Yeah, about seven, at, at the time yeah. we were there, it was about nine o'clock ish. Or yeah, about nine ish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> most of them were girls. Yeah. Very cute girls, by the way. It's not a bad thing. But hey, I guess it was just Thai girls hanging out with Thai girls for a while, and that's always a beautiful sight. But I would say that the bar, pool tables, it was busy-ish. Yeah, the pool, people were playing pool. Half the bar was kind of full. It wasn't dead like everybody said it is. No, 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 it's, it's not. not, even not close. It, no, it's not dead. And I can tell you, I can tell you there's there's several bars here that are drawing the huge crowds because they've they've changed owners, changed management, and they've changed their uh, platform. And they're dumping money into it to get the customers there and so it's taken away from some of the smaller bars so hey before i forget yeah i brought you something oh yeah you did it's not jerky it's, it's not, not coffee oh yeah by the way <laughs> thank you thank you everyone for the beef jerky thank you everyone for the coffee i'm stocked up for till 2021 i i swear i was just going through the house <laughs> last night and just going this is incredible. Thank you very, thank you very much. It is Christmas time though. What you got, what you got? Okay, so I brought you something. It's not, not, not drinking coffee. I brought you macadamia nuts from Hawaii. This one is a Maui onion and garlic. I love macadamia nuts. And then your traditional chocolate ones. Oh yeah, I love these two. These, do these have alcohol in it? No. Damn it. I'm no, gonna... just joking, just joking. You know who loves these? Who loves those? Kunisha. Oh yeah, you better. You Kunisha. Yeah, she'll like, so we'll take them to take the White Sun and we'll share them at the White Sun tonight. tonight. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. You. Was it Mahalo? Mahalo, yeah. Mahalo is thinking. Mahalo. Yes, it is. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Okay, because Aloha is hello and goodbye. Correct. Mahalo is thank you. And you, you can say you can say cheers uh, in Hawaiian is uh, Okole Maluna, and my friends are gonna kill me if they see this, but I can't pronounce it. Which <laughs> it, which, which means bottoms up basically, butts up, ah. bottoms up. So Okole. Maluna. We've been trying over here. Yeah. Every place I go now, especially when I'm at Danny's place, it's school, post, <laughs> cheers, choke the cop. Um, 
Nostro Nostrovia, Russian, Nostrovia. I th I, if I said it wrong, I apologize to any Russians that are listening to me. And now, how do you say, you, you don't know how to say the one that's bottoms it's up. It's Okole Maluna. It's uh, Okole Maluna. Bottoms up. Okole, Okole Maluna. Maluna. O Okole Maluna, Maluna, bottoms up. Cheers. Cheers. Guys, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, I'm going to go and get ready to go see Kunisha at the White Sun Bar. We're going to go hang out at the White Sun Bar a little yep. bit, say hello to her. Well, on that note, we're going to go mahalo for the... Uh, macadamia nuts and uh we're gonna go see nisha guys have a good one thank you for watching i'll let you know about the podcast that's gonna be a trip right i, I mean I, I guess i'm not really sure can you take this asshole back to america please goody goody don't forget that